Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. It's something that was initiated by Google back in Android 5 to where when a device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask for that account again as a security measure after the reset has been completed. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A, and this one is originally from Verizon here in the U.S., as we can see on the back. And this is a device that does have the Google account lock enabled. As we can see, as we're going through the setup process here, we come to a screen that tells us that the device was a reset, and to continue, it's specifically asking us to sign in with the previous Google account that was on the device. But we're making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this lock on this device, and that's exactly what we've done right here right now. It's a procedure that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer using our programs and tools. So this is something that can be done remotely for just about anyone anywhere in the world as long as you have a decently powerful Windows computer and a fast internet connection. Before making the video here, we had already done 99% of the work, so we should just be able to restart the device here once, as you're currently seeing, and then we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock. So we'll just give it a second here to finish booting up. Got the Verizon logo, of course. And starting to initialize there. Sorry, usually doesn't take that long. Okay, there we go. So now we're at the start screen. We can go ahead and tap that arrow there to start going through the setup process. So we're gonna agree to terms and conditions. We're gonna skip that. We can skip the Wi-Fi because we don't need it. And waiting for it to connect and check for a few things here. And then normally this would right here would be where we would have seen the Google lock previously. So now it's going to check that it's going to actually see that the lock has been removed and then it should go ahead and skip that step and let us keep going. Yeah, so now with the Google sign in screen, we can notice that it's asking us to sign in with any Google account that we want. It's not specifically asking us for the previous one that was on it. So that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and just skip through all the rest of the setup steps here just to show you that we can actually get all the way to the home screen. Skip the Google services. And I think Verizon might have one step left in the initial setup here. Skip email. Okay, there we go. So we are now all the way through the setup process. We can see the home screen loading here, and we now have full access to all of the apps and settings, just like if it was a brand new device. Now, while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we're working with here. So once we go to the About Tablet section, we will see that we do have a Galaxy Tab A8 is what they call it, the eight just being the eight inch screen size. And then specifically, they're the model number, the T387V. That's the specific device that we're talking about here. So if you have one of these Verizon Galaxy Tab A's and need help getting the Google account lock removed from it, go ahead and get in touch with us because we would love to help you out with that. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the info there as well. While you're here, make sure, make sure to check out all of the other videos that we have on our channel 
as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy one day. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.